Hello and welcome to a time special presentation. Join us every week for the Tirukkural with the Times, where we explore real-world lessons from the Tamil text Tirukkural with the motivational speaker, author, and diversity champion Bharati Bhaskar, as she explores the masterpiece. Bharati Bhaskar talks about a kural that, when chanted, has the power to remove pain and misery. And here's an interesting aspect about this kural. When you read it, you will find that your lips never touch each other. Try it yourself at the end of the podcast. When was the first time I heard about uh, Thiruvalluvar? My mother was working in the account general's office in Chennai. Her colleague during the 60s was K. Balachandar, the man who dared speak the unspoken in Tamil cinema. After all, he was the one who introduced Kalanyani Kamalhasan and superstar Rajnikanth to the Tamil movie kingdom. My mother was a great fan of Balachandar, both for his stage plays that he directed for the recreation club of the AG's office as well as his films. All his movies always opened with the first famous couplet of Thiruvalluvan, Agara Mudala Yeduttella, sung by the legendary music director M.S. Viswanathan. That was my first impression about Thiruvalluvan. I thought Thiruvalluvan had an unsmiling countenance at that time. My next introduction to Thirukkural was the inscription of the verses on the public transport buses in Chennai. Inscribed in bright green color with a font which was idolized against a white background. Then I came across Valduvar Kotam at Nungambakam in Chennai. My school uh, took me for a field trip there. So all my friends and I went there. How nice was it to be taken on a field trip and how boring was it to write an essay about the experience the next day at school. All of us had gone through it. Isn't it? Some couplets were referred to me by my mother at home repeatedly. Then came the school recitation contest in Tirukkural. It's a different matter that I did not win prizes for most of these competitions, but I did participate in all of them. Later, our Tamil teachers told us the story of the needle placed by poet Tiruvalluvar near the banana leaf where his meal was served. He had a cup of water too, next to that. If the rice was spilt when his wife served the meal, he would use the needle to pick it up, wash it with water and then eat it. Nothing should be wasted. The legend goes that he never had to use the needle as she never served with spillage. Serve like her and eat like him was the lesson taught by our teachers. Thus started my journey with Tirukkural. I was taken in by its brevity and the wisdom of its content. After a point of time, it became a mantra, a motivating chant that helped synergize the turbulent thoughts at weak and tepid moments. Do you know that some couplets are very powerful? If repeated, one would see the words bringing inner peace. One would feel that we plunge into the bliss of tranquility. All anxieties would be transformed into serenity, all anguish into peace, all doubts into assurances, all calamity into harmony, all ego into self-giving and all darkness into light. The root of all miseries can be pinned to one of the three things, derogation, destitution or penury. Once I was chasing a promotion at my office. It looked like it meant a lot to me. After a very long struggle, I went through several rounds of interviews. Finally, I did not make it. It felt that the world was closing on me. But just in a matter of months, I had a huge health setback. The promotion or lack of it did not matter at all. To live became much more important than to be promoted. During my difficult moments, I came across this rare couplet. If chanted, it can levitate us to a plane where the misery 
unpaint may look really insignificant. Yadanin yadanin ningiyan, nodal adanin adanin ilan. You will observe that your lips never touch each other as you narrate this couplet. He preaches renunciation or non-attachment not only by his words but even by the structure of his poetry. That is the greatness of Thiruvallur.